Sell the games already, or just no? Um, I only sold, I just sold the Xbox, but okay. um, the games are available. How much are they? Oh, okay. As you can see, those are good prices. <laughs> Are you selling the Xbox? Yes, I am selling the Xbox. How much did you want? I want one twenty. It has four controllers. Okay. And it's a rechargeable and it has a headset. I just turned it on actually. <laughs> Is this yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you okay? Yeah. I started unfolding it and then I decided that was a bad idea. Uh, so $10? Okay. Yep. Excuse me? Uh, <laughs> Altogether with the CD. This one, two. Uh, also five dollars. Yeah, this one never been used. So yeah, this is a week. How much were you asking? Uh, all the game all together. Yes. Yeah. Ten. Okay. How much for the week? We ten also. Comes with everything in here? Yeah, actually all the 
all the good stuff in it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever so, comes first. Well, I already have that, but okay. I never spend like how much. Like, yeah, like I, I got a recharger and a battery, okay. all different, you know. All right. Okay, remote so plus. Here you go. Oh, that's that's uh, money. <laughs> Twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you get this one, right? Yeah. Wow. That'll be fifteen, right? Oh, twenty. You said ten and ten, right? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> that's right. You got everything. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one is pretty much. Actually, I use that one the most. Yeah. <laughs> the most. I have all of this. this yeah. I think that one is most useful. Morning. How much are you asking for the video games? Um, a couple bucks at least. Okay. How much for this piece? Uh, for the total, I could go 30 bucks for everything. 30 bucks. Hmm. Let me think about it. Uh, How much would you offer? Because at this point, I just want to. To get rid of it. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> How much for the PSP? I'm asking sixty for everything. Oh, okay. So I have the PSP, the case, games, the original box, uh, added memory. Uh, I know what the games are. Only like three games. I got into PSP and like two weeks later I got out of PSP <laughs> and went on to PS3. It's one of those things. The Nano. Yeah, four gig Nano. How much were you? Asking? Uh, well, the issue with this is everything works on it except the screen. Sometimes it locks. <laughs> is so it on the hold button or? No, it would just start locking. Oh, okay. So this would be one of those pieces I think someone would have to fix it. Know how to fix. Okay. So that's what I'm telling everyone. Thirty for the set is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll probably get it. Let me see, like. Find anything else? Alright. Hello. Morning. Morning. Are the games individually priced, or are they? Um, I don't know how they all <laughs> They're all five bucks, or are they all? Oh no, for Wii games, I would say fifteen. Oh, for DS. Uh, fifteen. You say fifteen? <laughs> you wouldn't do ten dollars a game, would you, for the DS? Uh, if I both of those, I might be like a Oh, yeah. But you can just tell me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, just want to
Yeah. How much were you asked for the games? Uh, the plan this one, they are between uh, 5 and uh, 2017, the 2010, 25, and this one is here, the price is up. Hmm? The bottom one? Yeah. How much is it? The price is on it, so it's at uh, 90. Oh, this one? This one is 20. This one is 10 and this one is 5. Okay. Two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> Hey YouTube, I'm well, here actually my video game finds for September 20th and the week before that. Pretty good week. You notice also that I finally fixed my spy camera, which is just me being kind of stupid on uh, charging it and uncharging it. But that got resolved, so hopefully the next few weeks we'll have spy footage from now on. So, uh, some of the pickups I didn't show on video, actually just one of them, but the rest I did get on garage sales, so you saw all that. I'll show you what I got thrifting first. A few different thrifting places got quite a few items there as well. So, first place is probably Goodwill. I got that first place. Uh, I paid six dollars a piece for these games. Uh, probably some of them I probably should have passed on. Some of them I shouldn't have. And so, I'll get right into it. For the Super Nintendo, Sim City, and then Wii Sports Resort, which was actually inside a different case, but I had a case for it. So, Wii Sports Resorts, and then Raymond Raving Rabbits. Probably should have passed because. Is exactly worth six dollars, and then a sealed copy of Metal, Metal Gear Solid 4 for the PS3 and Kanemari Damacy. So, those are all my goodwill pickups, not that much, but at Savers or Salvation Army, I got a stack of games as well. A different pricing, but everything worked out eventually to four dollars a piece. Some were three, some were four, some were five. So, Elder Scroll 5 Skyrim. Actually, this is like a weird. I don't believe this is a GameStop cover, so it's really just a disc only of Elder Scroll 5, I would say. And then Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PS3. Bully Scholarship Edition for the Xbox 360. It's probably the best one I've a lot. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Star Wars Battlefront. And finally, another Katamari. We love Katamari for the PlayStation 2. So those were all my Salvation Army pickups. Actually, I think I only went there once this week, so probably less than the uh, last few weeks. And then finally at Savers, got quite a few games as well. Pricing here, um, I guess it worked out. Weird pricing, some were a few dollars, some were like seven or eight dollars, but everything worked out to be like around twenty dollars total. So got four games: Chima Lava's Journey, Journey for the 3DS. And then Mario Kart DS, like Mario Kart DS was probably eight, nine dollars, but everything worked out to be a few dollars less than that. Super Mario 64 for the DS, and then finally, this was been sitting there for a few weeks. Eventually, it turned half off, so I just picked it up. NCAA 7, <laughs> NCAA 2007, Marsh Madness. It is sealed, so it only worked out to be three dollars. Picked it up, and then I had a different savers on Friday. They had a few. NES and Genesis games, so I bought them. It worked out to be only $2 a piece, so pretty good deal for a thrift store. 
Spot the video game. Paperboy. And then Aladdin for the Genesis. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. And then finally, this is a sports title, but I just never seen this cartridge. Sampras Tennis. And then it's got like two plugs so you can play four player tennis. So pretty interesting. I've never seen it. I actually have one more Goodwill pickup. This was actually after I was selling a different Goodwill. I paid three dollars. Probably should have passed. Uh, probably use it just for the case because it was GameCube. Narnia for the GameCube. Probably switch it out with a different game. Uh, one other pickup at Savers uh, in the middle of the week. I picked this up. I think it was really marked twenty dollars. Uh, a Sega Game Gear. It looked in really nice condition, but when I powered it up. Um, the screen was really, really hard to see. Couldn't really play. I mean, you could, and there was no volume. But it did come with a stack of games, so I'll probably keep it. Um, I'll probably throw it out and keep all the games. Uh, the games were Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse, uh, Columns. Seems like every phone app has this type of game now. <laughs> G Lock, and then a few Sonic titles Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Joe Montana Football, and then uh, Sonic 2, and then Spider Man. So it actually was a pretty good deal. I mean, 20 bucks a little bit high, but I'll probably just sell the back covers. I could probably get like 10 bucks on eBay just for the covers alone, the battery covers. So that is everything I found thrifting. Overall, I felt pretty good. And then you notice the rest of the stuff was on Saturday, garage selling. Really good garage sale, I would say, weekend. Um, most of the stuff I actually got was at a different, um, there was a community, another citywide sale near my house. Um, diff the only thing different about this was they actually listed exactly what they were going to sell. So I pretty much went to all the ones that had video games, and pretty much all of them still had video games. Um, there is one before all the spy camera footage. The only reason why I didn't get footage was because it was so early and it's so late in the season that it's just really dark <laughs> before 7. So I got a lot of Wii games for $50 and then she actually threw in the Wii. She only threw it in because she said it was broken. She said you could just have it. And then I got a stack of Wii games for 50 bucks on top of it. So I'll go through the Wii games. Pretty much worked out to be a little bit over $2 a game. So I think 47 games. It's really 48, but one was missing the disc. But not a big deal. Trust me when you see the titles. Not the first stack, but the second. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Lego Indiana Jones 2. Pets Crazy Monkey. Uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, Ghost Squad, Shrek the Third. It seemed like there was two kids in this household, one boy, one girl, I can tell you. Per Pals, Ultimate I Spy, and then uh, You Draw Studio Instant Art. It's just instant Artist. Obviously, the, these titles weren't the greatest of titles, but the next act definitely. Well worth it, the $50. Rayman Raving Rabbits 2. Rayman Raving Rabbits Travel in Time. Sonic Color. Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. TMNT. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. And then Mario Party 8. Mario Party 9. Mario Strike Strikers Charged. Super Mario Galaxy 2, Mario Super Sluggers, and New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii, and then finally Mario Kart for the Wii. So obviously definitely well worth it, we'll see with Mario Party 8 and 9, well over $50, just those two games alone. So that was the very first pickup, pretty good, um, they said they are going to have video games, and they did. They also had some PlayStation 2 games, but she said they were all bootleg games. So obviously passed on that. So I'll go through what I found with the spy camera. You probably didn't miss the, the pricing. Um, some of you did, some of you didn't. So I'll try to go in order. 
Um, so the very first place was a rummage uh, sale. So the biggest loser was only two dollars. And then the Xbox 360. Uh, there was some family in front of me standing there for quite some time, and then they just only bought the Xbox. I think they wanted fifty-five dollars for the Xbox 360, but they didn't buy any of the games. So I worked it down to four dollars a game. So Need for Speed, Pro Street, Oblivion, Viva, Viva Pinata. And then the XCOM was actually a sealed version of the XCOM. And then after that, um, after that actually was, that was before the Citywide and then the rest of the stuff was in the Citywide. So the very actually first two places I went to, I didn't have any, I showed, I didn't show any footage, but they actually posted video games and one of them was like video games. It's like completely confused, even though he listed video games. So the, the kids' Disney games were actually worked out to be ten dollars. The DS were two dollars, and then the Wii's were three. So Disney Prison Princess, uh, Smart Girls Two Playhouse Two, another Disney Princess, and then uh, Jumpstart Pet Rescue. Um, this game's like over ten dollars, and same with the Disney game. So I definitely was going to pick them up and just resell them. And then after that was the the weird um, video of me kind of looking at the Guitar Hero and then coming back and somehow all these these two Rockstar games show up, Rocksmith and uh, Rocksmith 2014. Apparently the guy standing over the Guitar Hero was kind of contemplating if he wanted to pick these up. Uh, I picked up the Scrabble as well, so everything was $10 together. So probably like three fifty dollars a piece each, you would think. Um, well worth it with Rocksmith 2014 being a pretty new game. No cable though. And then after that, um, you would notice, I think it was either the Wii Lot and the DS. I'm just going to show you the same Wii again. What was in the bag was a bunch of peripherals, you know, the bat, tennis racket, and then two Wii controllers, and then uh, two nunchucks. Um, you didn't, for 10 bucks, that was ridiculously a good deal. And then the white DS as well was a really good deal. It does work. It came with seven games too as well. Some of them not so great. Um, hopefully you see two Drawn to Life games, Brain Age game, and then inside the bag or the pouch was another Brain Age, Brain Age 2, The Sweet Life, and then you'll see the new Super Mario Brothers. And then inside the actual the DS was uh, Mario Kart DS. Um, maybe in the video this was first, but we just decided to give this a play. And uh, New Super Mario Bros. was actually inside the DS when I bought it. After that, there was the pickup of just a few games. Um, the kid had quite a few games, but you notice the pricing was just a little bit high. So I picked up Odama for... Everything worked out. I think I negotiated three games for 10 bucks, even though it was 10, 5 5 3 um, he was okay with that. So Adama probably should have passed anyway. And then Crash Bandicoot Warped, PlayStation 1. And then the Dreamcast game, which is probably the best one, I think. Uh, Capcom vs. NSK. It is missing the, the instructions, but it is the case is correct. The back case is correct. So that was $10. And then after that, we saw that huge stack of a lot of DS games. The table, she said, was marked, the games were marked between 5 to 15, but everything worked out eventually to be $15 a piece. So I only picked up five games. Um, one of them I passed on that you probably saw, I probably should have picked up the slime game. Nothing's well worth over $20, but I, I did not know that. So the games I got were Pokemon Pearl version, uh, new Super Mario Brothers, Pokemon Platinum, Monster Tail, and then uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days. So they're all complete except I think Kingdom Hearts is missing the instructions. And then very, very finally, um, this guy's table had all this stuff. The pricing, the game I picked up, you probably didn't see in the video for the GameCube was Pikmin and he wanted 20 bucks. Uh, obviously a reseller. A lot of people went there before me. I saw them walking and they just walking away. Obviously they weren't very happy with the pricing. So the one game I did pick up was 
CSI, Fatal Conspiracy. It was $10, pretty high, but it is sealed and it is $20 again, so I picked it up. Um, everything else was pretty roughly what the price was on eBay. So those were all my pickups. Actually, before the the DS game and the the uh, the one PS3 game you saw in the video, um, pretty surprising. The first game I saw on the GameCube Advance lot, you saw that right sitting on top. Really nice condition of Mario Part Party Advance. This whole lot worked out to be thirty dollars. Uh, Legends of Wrestling 2, you saw, and uh, Madden 2005. So the GameCube, or Game Boy SP, was in the box, came with the power charger. Um, just open it up real quick. So condition, um, I'd say really nice. Has some light scratches on the top. I can't see, it is an AGS-001 silver one. Really nice condition. Came with the power adapter, and I think that's it. Maybe the instructions. Yeah, and the instructions. So, in the box one. Um, the PSP, he wanted $60. They passed, um, I think, just the console itself. But it came, he said, with the original box. But I passed on it anyway. So those were all my pickups in the garage sales. I'd say overall, a really, really good week. Um, one other game I missed... It was in the Savers, uh, the Mario Kart 64 actually had two games. It also had a Game Boy Advance game, Stuart Little 2, inside of it. Just a random free pickup. So after Garage Gelling, I did go to a bookstore. I picked up a few games. It worked out to be, I think, $30 or $35 to go through individual pricing. So they had one game in the glass, I was definitely going to pick this up, it was 20 bucks, Pokemon X. Uh, this game is still over $30, even used $34, $35, so pick it up. And then one Super Nintendo game, 5 bucks, Mortal Kombat 4, Final 64. And then this one game I wasn't so sure about. I wasn't sure what console, I knew it was a Sega system, but I couldn't figure out why it was just um, a cartridge. It was only it was 10 bucks, just a gamble with it. It's Hang On for the Sega. I know it's a cartridge for the Master System, and I thought this is for the Master System. Uh, I know the Master System has a, a slot for these types of games. I uh, need to do a little bit more research, but most likely it is just for the Sega Master System. So, pay 10 bucks for it. Came with a nice little sleeve. So, that is pretty much everything this week. Overall, I'd say a really nice week, given that the very first place, a huge lot of Wii games was really nice pickup. Kind of interesting. As soon as I grabbed all the Wii stuff, uh, some guy showed up that I know that resells at the flea market for video games, so I kind of beat them out there. <laughs> I'm always happy to beat those guys out. And it's pretty rough out there some days. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.